Hello and welcome to Running to Redline. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to repaint rims, whether you want to just change the look of your car or there's damage on them like there is on these 2005 C6 Corvette rims here. As you can see, there's oxidation all around the edges. The previous owner had it in place with a lot of salt and as a result, the edges of this rim has gotten all corroded and nasty. Thus, we want to paint over it to prevent this from getting any worse and to cover it up for aesthetic purposes. So the first thing we want to do is take the rims off the car and just give them a standard wash as you would to get all dirt off so that the paint has a better surface to bond to. We are then going to take some 220 grit sandpaper and just sand the entire face of the rim as well as the inner barrel of them. This is going to allow us to get that rougher surface so that the primer in the first coat can really bond to the surface of the rim well and we can really flatten out all of the imperfections. As you can see, here is the barrels of the rims on the back side, and we're going to be wanting to sand these too. This is so that we can paint the back of the rim essentially, and make it easier to clean and maintain over the course of ownership. This in general is going to give us a nice flat surface and get rid of all imperfections. We're then going to hop up to some 400 grit sandpaper. This is a little bit finer if you don't know sandpaper grits. This is just going to allow the rims to get a much smoother finish before we go ahead and move any further. We are then going to take some kind of blow dryer, or I'm actually using a leaf blower here to blow away all of the stuff that we just sanded off the rims. And this will leave behind that nice rough but even finish so that we can get some primer in there and fill in imperfections. Then we're going to take a microfiber cloth with some rubbing alcohol and rub off all of the faces of the rims. This is going to leave us a nice clean surface and remove any dust that wasn't taken care of with the leaf blower. Now we're going to be putting in our cards to set up paint protection over the tires. I apologize for this being painted with primer already, but I had not filmed this earlier. You basically just take a deck of cards, lay them sideways all around the tire. That way you get no paint on the tire and you're only painting the rim. And then once you do this for all four wheels, we have to cover off the valve stem. You're going to take a two inch roll of painter's tape and just roll it around your finger like so. And then basically what this will do is actually slip right over the top of the valve stem. Them. You could just take this, bring it over, and as you can see, slip it right on, and then pinch the top to close it shut, and now no paint will be getting on any of our valve stems. We are then going to be taking this Duplicolor Automotive Primer. It is a self-edging filler primer. This essentially means that it's going to fill in all of our imperfections and just do a really light coat over all of the rims. I only did one coat of this, but this is going to fill in any indentations or imperfections that we were working with from the oxidation on these rims. We're then going to be moving into our actual automotive primer. As you can see, there's the brand and the uh, paint number right there. And then I actually got a custom automotive paint blended for this project from a local paint shop. Most of them will do this for you for relatively cheap. And then we went ahead and applied this primer to the rims. I did two coats of this primer, and this is just going to be giving the paint a nice uh, a nice surface to bond to, which we eventually went ahead and did here. The point of the filler primer was to fill in all of the imperfections and give us a good foundation and surface to work with. The primer was really meant to help the paint bond, and I got the primer from an automotive shop too. Usually if you buy them from the same place, they'll know how to hook you up with the proper stuff so that they actually bond together properly and the paint and the primer are meant to go together. As you can see here, we're doing a gloss black all over the faces of the rims, then also on the barrels of the rims on the back side. You basically just want to take them and kind of roll them around, give them a nice light dusting over the back. You don't need to go too thick here. This is just to kind of cover the surface and make them easier to clean and maintain in the future. We're then going to go ahead and get into our clear coat after we do two coats of uh, the gloss black paint. So I did two coats, I did one coat of the filler primer, two coats of the gloss, uh, two coats of the black primer, then two coats of the um, gloss black paint, and then we're going to be moving into this clear coat here. And just for notice, I gave about an hour dry time between each coat. If you don't give it ample time to dry, it could bubble or run or do any kind of goofy stuff that we really want to avoid. We then went ahead and took this clear coat here, and this is just going to help the rims really get that nice gloss black shine. They looked pretty flat before doing this, so this will help with that nice finish, and it will also create a nice hard enamel on the outside to protect the rims from any chipping or any paint wear. And this is something that we did two to three coats of, depending on how much clear coat you're working with. But ideally, you do want as thick a layer as possible, as this is going to be our 
final barrier and protectant against any elements that might be wearing down these rims over time. As you can see here, we then slapped them back on the car after we gave them a full day to dry. You wanna give the clear coat longer to dry than the paints because it takes longer to harden. We did about two to three hours between coats and then about a day to dry at the end of that process and then slapped them back on the car. And as you can see, this looks so much better. That clear coat really brought out a nice glossy metallic finish on these rims. And now there's no more oxidation in sight that's been taken care of and isn't gonna to continue to corrode these rims. And aesthetically, it just looks much more much better. I apologize for my shadow getting in the way here. This gloss black paint really does look a lot better on this car and it's a nice even and shiny finish and should last for years to come with that nice hard enamel clear coat that we've put on the outside. You can see some of the metallic flakes there and as a whole this took maybe two days and costed just under $100 so it definitely is a lot better of a process to do it this way as opposed to taking it to a shop where they're going to be charging you a ton to do it. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and are able to succeed in doing this on your own and if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like on it and consider subscribing to the channel to see more like this in the future thank you for watching and have a great day